1946, France held the first edition of the Cannes Film Festival, and since then, Mexican cinema has been present with more than 35 entries in the official competition section. The first film that participated was Maria Candelaria in 1943 by Emilio El Indio Fernández. With the performances of Dolores del Rio and Pedro Armendariz, the film won the Golden Palm and the Best Picture Award for Gabriel Figueroa. That same year, the film The Three Musketeers was released by Miguel M. Delgado and starring Mario Moreno Cantinflas. That film also won the Best Picture Award for Gabriel Figueroa. In 1949, Pueblerina was released, another hit by Emilio El Indio Fernández. With a stellar performance by Columba Dominguez, Pueblerina won the Musical Score Award. In 1951, Los Olvidados by Luis Buñuel won the award for Best Director, an achievement that put Buñuel in the international spotlight once again. The film Doña Diabla by Tito Davidson, with Maria Felix at the helm of the cast, was included in the fifth edition of Cannes, but deserved no recognition, along with Subida al Cielo by Luis Buñuel in 1952 and La Ausente by Julio Bracho. In the following year's edition, Emilio El Indio Fernández returned with La Red to win the International Award for Best Film. Meanwhile, Roberto Gavaldón released Las Tres Perfectas Casadas, a production that did not win anything after the competition. The 1953 festival represented a prolific period for Mexican cinema, because Buñuel again got into the competition through his film El. In 1955, the film Talpa by Alfredo B. Crevena was released, along with La Escondida by Roberto Gavaldón, a film in which Maria Félix's beauty attracted attention and Pedro Armendariz represented a clear image of the Mexican male. After appearing in Cannes only as a supporting actor, Ignacio López Tarso appeared in 1960 as a star in Macario by Roberto Gavaldón and Gabriel Figueroa. Actress Silvia Pinal also caught the attention of the festival in 1961 through the film Viridiana by Luis Buñuel. The film won the Palme d'Or. In 1962, Buñuel was once again successful with El Ángel Exterminador, which won the International Critics Prize and the Society of Film Writers Award. Three years later, the International Critics Prize was awarded to Luis Alcoriza Tarahumara in 1965, and two years later, in 1967, Pedro Paramo by Carlos Velo was on the list, but to no avail. For his first appearance at the festival, Arturo Ripstein in 1974 presented the film Santo Oficio. It took two decades for Mexico to excel again in Cannes, and it was precisely with La Reina de la Noche by Arturo Ripstein in 1994. Five years later, he returned with El Coronel No Tiene Quien Le Escriba. Mexican cinema was talked about when in 2005 the director Carlos Reigadas presented Batalla en el Cielo, a French, Belgian, German and Mexican co-production. Alejandro González Iñárritu made his successful debut in Cannes in 2006 with Babel, a French, United States and Mexican production. He returned home victorious with the award for Best Director and the Volcano Award for the Technical Artist. Also in 2006, Guillermo del Toro appeared for the first time with Pan's Labyrinth. Although the Mexico-Spain co-production was honored in Hollywood, it didn't win anything in Cannes. The following year, Carlos Reigadas returned triumphant with Luz Silenciosa, obtaining the jury prize. Three years later, in 2010, Alejandro González Iñárritu returned with Beautiful, winning the award for Best Actor and the Vulcan Award for the Technical Artist. The film Post Tenebras Lux again proved successful for Carlos Reigadas in 2012, who won the prize for Best Director. In the following year's edition, Heli by Amat Escalante stood out, with an award for Best Director. And finally, Chronic by Michel Franco in 2015 won the award for Best Screenplay, with information by Claudia Pacheco, Notimex.